What's going on guys? Cameron here with The Lawn Care Live in Missouri and today got some exciting news man. We got the Skag windstorm that's going to be uh, arriving here on the property. Got a whole lot of leaves we're going to blow around and the uh, Billy Goat Hurricane Blower. So we're going to try those out, test those out. Um, I heard the Skag truck and trailers in town so he'll be here before long and we'll uh, we'll meet up with him and we'll try out these blowers so stay tuned. I don't know what I think about this gag being in here coming from the Ferris mowers and the Toro mowers. We're going to try them out though. As far as on the, the Skag Windstorm, that does have the, the fixed front end uh -huh. uh, where this has a pivoting uh, front end on it. Oh, okay. Um, on the Windstorm, this does have 180 degree as far as the air flow. Right. Uh, which that, it'll be a continuous uh, CFM the whole time. Okay. Um, this one has the, the three doors. Um, so, you know, it'll have your CFM at your natural uh, way that the rotation is on the, the impeller. Yeah, sure. And then uh, you do lose some, you know, when you're, you're going the opposite direction. Oh, okay. Um, so what's the, the left side, I guess, is going to be the most powerful, and the right side is going to slow down just some? Right, okay. correctly. Um, you got a 35 horse carbureted uh, Vanguard, uh -huh. and then that has the 37 horse Vanguard fuel injection. Um, this one here will have the impeller uh, turning the whole time during operation. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, where this uh, does have, um, it's a soft start clutch oh, okay. that's on this. Uh -huh. um, so that way it eases into the, the engagement because of the weight of that impeller. Okay. Um, this will have a transaxle. Uh, which uh, this one has a pump and wheel motor. Mm -hmm. um, as far as uh, brake wise, uh, once you let up on this, it's automatic brake. Uh, that does have uh, a brake lever. Okay. Um, toggle wise, uh, to open your gates, uh, you open each one individually here, mm -hmm. and then you close them all by going back. Okay. Um, on this one here, um, it has 180, so as you're making your turn, you can hit that and it'll continuously be pushing air. Mm -hmm. Or this is your fine adjustment. Okay. Um, this here does have where you can work it so if there's it up and down a yeah, bit. impacted uh, wet leaves, mm -hmm. you can adjust that out. Um, this does have a, a, a door lock 
then it'll only go so far so that it'll keep the airflow down if you'd mm -hmm. like. Okay. And then on this, um, it does have fuel gauge, uh, which is nice. Um, this one does not. They both do have an hour meter. Uh, this one does have a, a Tiger Eye monitoring system, which um, that's on all the SCAG units. Basically, what that shows, um, if there's not a, a switch working proper, it won't turn over, or if you were to have the PTO on, it won't turn over okay. for safety. Mm -hmm. um, as far as uh, to get availability, um, this does have the back ends that come off uh, for your hydros and to end up to change out your hydro it's here mm -hmm. to release your your pumps is here uh, to adjust your tracking it's accessible through here and then uh, here's your hydraulic reserve does have the cooling fans on top of your your pumps there that's a hydro gear pump with the Parker wheel motors uh, on this uh, it does have the accessibility here uh, on the, and then your hydro reserves are here. It's a little tougher to get uh, to the underneath side of it, but the uh, battery is underneath the, the cover as well. Mm -hmm. um, oil changes, they're very similar. Both of them have a drain cock. Uh, that one drains straight out the bottom. This one you ho hook a hose to, and it'll drain out the side. Okay.
just got a little bit of power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you believe that? Wow.
So I tried out the uh, Skag Windstorm. I tried out the Billy Goat 3000 blower. And now I got my buddy Josh from Blessed Lawn Care here in town. He's trying it out. And uh, he's on the Skag Windstorm right now. So that thing is super, super loud. I didn't realize how loud it was um, when I was on the machine because I had my headphones on. But hearing him run this thing, you guys think that Echo PB8010 is loud? Man, I'm gonna get over here and uh, check this out. Check, check, uh, check and see if Josh likes the Skag. I don't know, he's over there by the billy goat now. He may be hopping on in, so let's check it out. This is gonna be good. So, Josh, what do you think of the Skag Windstorm? Impressive. Ooh. Very powerful. Like the functionality of moving the blower to the tube around. Yeah. So now are you saying this just because you are a Skag man? Oh come on now. I'm just I do like Skag, but it's a nice machine. Yeah. It's a the 37 is a beast on there. It is. Yeah, I love that engine. Right, guys we've been able to try out the skag windstorm and the billy goat hurricane stand on blowers out here on our property and man let me tell you we've taken two pb 8010s and we've come over here and blown all these leaves like three or four times we've done this and blown them all to the driveway so we could suck them up with the billy goat now what we've ran into with our lawn care business and going out and doing leaf removal we got a really good setup for sucking the leaves up i mean we can take the dump trailer the billy goat debris loader and we can go through there and we can suck these leaves up in like 20 minutes i mean 20 minutes would be like the max you know most lawns take about 12 15 minutes to suck the leaves up and you know shred them up but 
the thing that's taking us so much time and that is blowing the leaves to the curb blowing the leaves to the place that in you know we were need to get them in order to suck these leaves up so i thought you know in order to improve efficiency make more money per hour you know in the long run we're going to have to change things up we can't keep using the echo pb 8010s i mean on a smaller scale that's fine uh, but as we gain more work and gain more um, leaf cleanup jobs or leaf removal jobs like this we're definitely going to have to step up our game in order to get those leaves to the curb a whole lot quicker because if we're spending hours just getting the leaves to the curb and then it only takes 20 minutes to suck them up well how can we do that more efficiently how can we make more money per hour by getting those leaves to the curb a whole lot quicker so we could literally, I mean, I'm out here playing around on these machines and I'm thinking, you know what? I'm thinking in my mind, I, I mean, it's just, it's just spinning nonstop. But when I'm on a new piece of equipment like this and thinking about how we can use it in our business, I'm thinking, man, 20 minutes, 30 minutes tops, I can have these leaves pushed to the side over here by the driveway and ready to suck up in like no time. I mean, 20 minutes, I'm thinking 30 minutes tops, but you know, it would take like two hours with the Echo PB 8010s. So I'm thinking, you know, if I get out here on this property or any property that we service or take care of, um, if I'm able to cut the time in half or even, you know, more, you know, so than that, and I'm only using one person to do this, I'm thinking, man, I've got to make the switch. I've got to get something, you know, going for the leaf removal game. And I don't know if it's a standard. I don't know if it's um, maybe you know, a different attachment, but something that can get the leaves blown or pushed to the curb a whole lot quicker. Now we did use the Ferris Z3X in some of our videos to push those leaves to the curb. And I will say it's a whole lot quicker when you pile those leaves up with the PB8010, then take the mower, push them to the curb, but they kind of get packed in there. So that's kind of, you know, something you got to work with as well. But if we can figure out a way to make it super efficient, and we're going to make more money per hour and uh, ultimately be more profitable at the end of the day. And that's what you guys want, man. You don't want to be spending two hours blowing these leaves up and uh, taking all your time, you know, doing that when you can suck them up in 20 minutes and be out of there. So um, tried the blowers out. I will tell you, I like both of them. They worked really well. But if I was to go out and to buy one tomorrow, which one would I buy? Would it be the Billy Goat, you know, Hurricane Blower or the Skag Windstorm? And I'm going to tell you, hands down, it's going to be the Skag Windstorm. Now, I don't have a Skag. I've never ran a Skag, but I tried the Windstorm out, and I really liked it. Some things that I liked and some things that I didn't like on the, you know, the Ferris Hurricane, it's a good blower. It's a great stand-on blower. And if I had, you know, that blower to blow all these leaves around or use in my business, I guarantee you it will work perfect. It's going to be efficient. It's going to make me more money at the end of the day, but... Um, you know, if I had my choice between the two, I would definitely go with the Skag Windstorm hands down because um, the Skag Windstorm, it's just like the V-Ride. So if you guys are familiar with the V-Ride, you like the V-Ride, you like the way it's set up, um, it's going to be just like that. I mean, it's a nice zero turn stand on mower. Uh, and then you have the blower in the front. And also on the Skag Windstorm, you have two buttons on top of the control panel and one of them is to uh you know turn the nozzle in front of you the blower nozzle left right if you want to point it straight in front of you you can do that too and then it has a little uh lever on the side where you can actually pull that lever up shoot those leaves out a little farther uh leave it down you can kind of blow up everything that's on the ground and underneath and also it has another switch that you hit if you're say you're blowing one direction you want to turn around and come back this way but you still want the blower to blow the same direction you just hit this little lever as you're spinning around and turn around to come back and the blower tube will automatically turn that direction whichever direction you hit it and you one hit you know with the finger it's turning as you're turning the mower and you're set up perfect to make your way back and blow those leaves the same direction so i really like that um you know in the v-ride i'm telling you just set up like the v-ride it's comfortable uh your body's between the wheels you're sitting in there nice and low you can see everything out in front of you it's a real comfortable smooth design there's not a lot of rattling there's not a lot of vibration um, it's quick on the you know hydro response when you're turning around or backing up or whatever it's like immediate you know response from the hydro so it's nice and smooth 
and it's nice and comfortable and nice and uh you know i don't i don't think you can go wrong with the skag windstorm but when i hopped on the ferris i noticed you set up a whole lot higher the platform actually sticks out a little bit from the uh from the machine so you're kind of riding on the back of it you know kind of like the uh, gravely pro stance if you're familiar with that if you like that style hey that's cool but i particularly don't like that another thing that i really don't like on the billy goat hurricane blower and i've said it before and i'll say it again it's the operator presence control that's in the hands you have to have that hand um, switch or that lever push down in order for that machine to uh, stay running if your hand comes off of it, it's going to cut the machine off and die just like it does on the gravely pro stance you guys know i didn't like it on the gravely pro stance i don't like it on the billy goat uh, hurricane blower so those are just a couple of things that i don't like about the uh, billy goat blower another thing is the way the um the tubes are set up on the billy goat you have three um blower tubes and you have like a button you got it's like a joystick um, if you want them all closed you got to pull it back towards you um, if you want the front one open you got to hold the you know push the front one open it it's it has like blend doors where you know the front door opens so it can blow out the front if you want the left you got a joystick over to the left close the front one open up the left one let that you know wind circulate through there and that blower uh circulate you know the opposite direction or back to the right or whatever direction you're going to choose and i just didn't like that at all i mean it was it was annoying you had to constantly you know move your hands around and figure out which one you were trying to close and open and it's just i, I just <laughs> it just didn't like that at all um it was kind of a pain to be honest and another thing is when you're running that um billy goat blower as soon as you turn that key on and start it up the blower automatically runs when you throttle it up uh, the blower is going to you know it's going to pick up speed it's going to blow a little harder throttle it down you know it doesn't blow as hard but i didn't like the fact that when you turn the blower you turn the machine on blower automatically runs no matter what there's no way to turn that blower off it's constantly running so i didn't like that at all you know you're up in your truck you're pulling it out of your trailer your box trailer your box truck it's going to blow everything that's in there it's going to blow it all around because there's no way to turn that blower off i didn't like that one one bit a matter of fact when the uh when the rep brought the uh, blower out of his enclosed trailer everything was blowing around in his trailer i'm like what is going on but it was just that blower starting up and just the uh you know blowing everything dust leaves everything around in it now as the skag windstorm when you start it up start up just like a mower and it actually has a pto switch just like the mower so if you don't want that blower to run you just start the uh, skag windstorm up you trailer it or you run it wherever you want to uh blow those leaves and then when you get to your spot that you want to blow the leaves you just throttle it up a little bit and then you kick that pto switch on just like you know you're engaging the blades on a, on a mower and i really like that because i can you know there's a lot of gravel here don't want to blow the gravel everywhere you don't want to make a mess there so um, you know like in this area it's just there's a lot of stuff you don't want to blow and some stuff you do want to blow so with that skag windstorm i could roll down the driveway here i wouldn't have to worry about it blowing gravel um, you know over here in the grass or you know against the truck or just whatever but um, on that skag windstorm i could just cruise through here and head down the hill of our driveway with the blower off get down to the bottom of the hill kick that blower tube on it's shooting out there nice and fast and i'm just taking off blowing those leaves exactly where they need to go so i definitely like that at, uh, that part a whole lot better on the skag windstorm so anyways that's just my thoughts if you got the skag windstorm i guarantee you you're gonna like it if you got the hurricane uh, blower from billy goat you're gonna like that as well i just prefer the skag windstorm over the billy goat that's just my preference that's just what i think but just wanted to share that with you guys if you got any comments if you ran the skag windstorm let me know what you think of it if you ran the billy goat hurricane blower drop a comment below i want to know your guys thoughts i want to know what you uh what you like what you dislike and uh we'll keep this conversation rolling in the comments but anyways thanks guys for checking this out i appreciate you watching this video first time for me to try out a stand on blower i mean i've tried them out at the gie but we really didn't get to blow anything so this is kind of a good real world experience of how the stand on blowers work and man uh, i'm telling you they're pricey you know if you have two pb8010s you figure 10 times that 
is what it's going to cost for a stand-on blower. You're talking $10,000, dollars dollars $12,000, somewhere in that range anyways. I don't know the exact price, but anywhere from ten dollars to $12,000, you can probably bank on uh, paying for a new uh, Skag Windstorm or Hurricane blower from Billy Goes. So just want to throw that out there. But anyways, guys, appreciate you watching. I'm Cameron with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri. Stay tuned for more videos of like debris cleanup and leaf removal cleanup and uh, check those out. Hey, be sure to subscribe, man. I don't say it enough, but I want to tell you guys, be sure to subscribe, I'm trying to grow our channel right now, especially in the off season. So we'll be putting out more content. And if you guys want to keep up with it, be sure to subscribe. I'm out. I appreciate you guys again for watching. I hope you have a blessed day. And as always, man, hey, God provides.